everyone. I'm Bonita from Pennies to Dollars and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to talk more about decluttering today. That is one of the journeys that I have been on for a while and through this I try to share things with you as I have learned them and as I experience them and I hope that that will help others as they're going through this to know that they're not alone. And by the way, if this topic interests you or if frugal living interests you or country living interests you, I would love for you to subscribe and to join our family. I have reached monetization on this channel, so I'm so excited. Thank you to those of you who have been following me through this and helping me reach that milestone. So on we go with decluttering. Today, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I have been experiencing. I have, as you know, gone through a few of my heirlooms. I have gone through some of the things that were clearly easy to get rid of. I've started with the trash. I've worked that layer method or that onion layer method that they talk about and got a lot of things gone over the last few years. And as I move through this, I have realized that there, there are so many hidden things that I have totally forgotten about. And maybe you are this way as well. When we start decluttering, we hit those high spots. We hit the trash. We hit the things we know we don't want. And then we start working on some of the things that are more difficult to make decisions on. But then there's days that we open this briefcase or this travel bag and we find all these things that we've forgotten about and I'm to the point, I'm looking at these going, why in the world did I save this stuff? Did I ever think I was going to look through these old papers from college? Why in the world did I save all of this? And even though these things are not in our visual line of sight, getting rid of them really does feel good. So I want to encourage you that even though you are starting to maybe dig into some of those areas that are not in your line of sight, when you get them gone, when you get them thrown away, shredded, burned, whatever you do with them, it really does give you a sense of accomplishment. And I think that's why I started with those high spots of the trash and getting rid of the things that I knew I didn't want because I could see, I could see that I was making progress and that kept me going. But these little things that I couldn't see, that I knew were locked inside briefcases or shut up in small areas in boxes, they didn't bother me because they couldn't see them. They weren't really in my face like that other stuff was. But over the last week, I have been able to dispose of a bunch of those things. And they were. They were just things to dispose of. They have no value anymore. A lot of stuff went in the recycle bag. I feel a weight being lifted off of my shoulders by getting rid of that. So I do want to encourage you, if you are going through some of this, if you are going through some of that declutter shuffle, where maybe you move this box to this room or you move this briefcase to this room and you never really open it because you don't feel like it's going to make that big of an impact in getting things out of your house, it really does make an impact. It really does inspire you to go and open those things and go ahead and dispose of them. One box out of your house is still a box out of your house and it does feel good. And I've realized through this whole experience that I just need what I just need. I have so much more beyond what I really need. And by having so much more than I really need, it blocks the view of the things that I do need, or it takes the place of where the things I need should go. A lot of times when our houses are cluttered, we have things sitting out, and those things sitting out are the things that we're using. The things that are in the cabinets and in the closets and in the drawers are the things that we're not using. And they are all full, but they're taking the place of where the things we use should go. 
So if we can get behind some of those hidden spaces and go through those things and realize, hey, I don't use this. I've not used it in a long time. I forgot I even had it. It doesn't mean anything to me. I'm going to get it out of the house. Then the things that we use can actually go in the cabinets, in the drawers, and be handy for us to grab because they are the things that we use. And then that visual clutter just gets so much better. It's so much more relaxing. It's wonderful to walk into that room because you don't have things sitting all over. And I had done a video a long time ago where I had talked about Saturday pants with my kids and several of you had watched those and commented on that. I had my kids go through and model clothes every year in the summer, in the spring, before school started, and I would take out the things that didn't fit and we would see what they really needed and anything that still fit that they didn't like we called Saturday pants. So when they didn't go anywhere and no one saw them, they used those clothes to play in the yard or wear around the house. It didn't matter if they got paint on them or if they got dirt on them. It just didn't matter. They weren't anything that was special, but they still fit. So as I'm going through some of the clothes that I have, I'm finding that I still have clothes where I maybe feel frumpy or dumpy. I, I don't feel my best when I'm wearing these, but they fit. So the frugal part of me says, you know, these fit. They are comfortable. I don't feel my best in them, but I spent a decent amount of money on them. And then I thought, why not take my own advice? These can be my Saturday pants. These can be my gardening pants. These can be the pants I wear when I'm painting. So as I'm going through things, if they clearly don't fit, if I clearly don't like them, don't want them, I'm not going to wear them, I'm going ahead and getting rid of them. But I'm keeping a few of those things like that for Saturday pants because we all know that when it's time to paint, we do need something to pull out. When it's time to garden, we do need something to pull out of our closet. And if we get rid of all of those things and keep only the things that really make us feel good, we're gonna mess up our good stuff and then we're going to need more stuff. So the last thing we want is more stuff. So I am going to keep a few things for Saturday pants. We tend to fill the space that we have. And I think that's where a lot of this comes from. If you remember when you first moved out, when you were young, you wanted to fill the rooms. You wanted to put things on the walls. But then if people move into bigger houses, they want to fill those rooms and fill those walls. And as we move through life, we bring a lot of things in, but we don't take a lot of things out. And then we don't even notice that all of that clutter is just all around us. It just becomes part of our normal environment. But if you can unfill the stuff in your visual sight, if you can unfill those rooms, unfill those walls, the freedom that that feeling brings you is such an experience that I don't even know if I can describe it unless you experience it yourself. So I encourage you to try this with one of your rooms. Maybe even start with your bedroom, your living room, your kitchen, a room that you're in a lot and experience what it feels like to unfill that room. And it will inspire you to continue on this decluttering path. And I think you will find so much fulfillment in having less stuff. We all tend to keep things that have memories to them. And my kids have now been out of the house for five years. We've been empty nesters for five years. And I still have toys and I still have things that belong to them. And it's very difficult for me to dispose of those things, even though I know they serve no purpose. So I'm not saying that any of this is going to be easy. Some of it is not easy. 
hit that easy stuff first. Hit some of that stuff that is hidden, that clearly doesn't serve you anymore, that doesn't matter, and start experiencing some of this freedom that it brings. So I guess this video is just to inspire you in a way to move some mountains, move some mountains of clutter in your home, and I hope that you can start to experience the wonderful feeling that that brings. So I hope this has been encouraging to you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I would love to see this channel grow more, and I appreciate all of you who have been following me. Have a great day.